hey guys welcome back to my channel so today's video i'm going to show you guys my wash and go routine okay you're going to need a water bottle your choice of a leave-in conditioner something that's going to actually moisturize your hair i like to go in with extra moisturized product which is on um, this extra virgin olive oil to give them to give my hair some extra moisture i cannot talk and to make my curls pop i like to use the extreme wet line gel so okay guys starting off what i like to do is just detangle my hair We're gonna start off at the back, so I'm just gonna part it off and just pin the top up and just start from there. First, I like to wet my hair, and then I go in with my leave-in conditioner. I go in with that um, moisturizing Hawaiian soup that I have, top it off with some olive oil, and then apply my gel. As you can see, before I even start applying my gel, that um, moisturizer that I use, I'm going to link it in the description box below, it like immediately gets my curls to popping. And that's why I like it so much. And then on top of that, that extra oil, the extra olive oil, I cannot talk tonight guys. The extra olive oil um, makes it more like shiny, give it like a sheen look to where it doesn't um, come out to be like so you know, crispy and like crunchy like. If you have like some pieces that are come together, all you have to do is just go in and just, you know, pull them apart and just twist at the end. I know I have some pieces like right here at the front where my hair just act like it did not want to curl for nothing in this world. So I just wrap the end pieces around my finger. I'm going to repeat all those steps that I told you guys earlier for the rest of my head. That's good. This process usually takes me about, I think maybe about an hour to actually do. I used to love doing my hair like this before I could, um, before I did my second big chop. I will link that video in the description box as well if you guys want to go and look at that. But yeah, I used to love doing wash and goes. That was like my favorite go-to style. And now that my hair is actually long enough that I can actually do those, I am loving how my hair turned out. So I will probably be, you know, just wearing my hair more often. Lately, the summertime, y'all, I've been wigging it out. Like, I've been wearing my wig this whole time. I just did not want to do my hair. But now, I guess since it's, you know, getting a little cold outside, I guess I can just, you know, kind of wear it out more. So, right here, I want to zoom in a little bit so you guys can actually see what I mean when I say that Hawaiian silk. And then I use a demi bush to, um detangle my hair how it immediately makes my curls pop guys i haven't even applied the gel yet to my hair in the next step you'll see that's when i'm applying the gel but right here i just want to show you guys exactly how it looked like i could have probably honestly just did 
the water, the leave-in, and then applied the Hawaiian silk with the olive oil and brushed it out. And it, my curls probably would have popped. But me, I just got to be extra. So I always go back in with that gel because I really want my hair to like last longer than a week. So I'm going to try to stretch this out as long as possible. With the middle part of my hair, I like to take, like, my time on doing this area. I know I kind of speeded it up a little bit, but I like to take my time with this area and make sure I really moisturize it to, like, the max. Because, for some reason, the middle of my hair is, like, a totally different texture. It's so thick. It's so, like, rough. <laughs> like, y'all just don't understand. So, I have to always add, like, extra moisture to the middle of my hair and just actually really just work the product with each strand. Now, I don't know if you guys don't saw like the old back in the day, like natural hair YouTubers, but they always did this shake at the end. Well, they just try to shake and, and get like the product all over your hair and make sure the ones that the pieces that you have that are clumped or, you know, get unclumped. So I always go in at the end of my wash and go, just give it a good little shake. that's it guys for this video i hope you guys like it and make you make sure you subscribe to my channel i will see you guys in my next video